Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name, background, click OK. And go to FX Presses, search FX Fill. Select Fill, let's use for background solid layer and go to color cube select this color like this click ok and let's go to text and write here our text let's write high clearization tool and move to center let's enable title action save and go to window open align and let's click this icon for move to center our text okay so in this time select this text layer and go to pen behind Move the anchor point down like this. Clearization tool. And so let's go to window, open animation comes 3. If you not see this animation comes 3 in window, I will add the link on the description below. So select this text layer and open starter presets, text layers, animate characters, and select this overshot effect. And let's, let's use this overshot and click in. Let's close window and close settings. Select this mark, let's move to right for more slow animation and let's preview animation. Okay, so select this mark, let's move to left for more fast. Okay, that's good. So in this time, go to here and select this text layer. Let's press R, open rotation, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard, or let me show other way. Click time duration and right here plus 10. For go to 10 keyframes, click OK. And let's change rotation like this. So select keyframes, make easy ease, or click F9. And go to back, hold shift, press S, open scale, make scale keyframe, and go to last keyframe, change scale 0. Make scale keyframes also easy. And let's see animation. Select this work area. Okay, so select keyframes, move right for more slow animation. And in this time, go to project and select this paper composition. Let's drag and drop or composition. And press S, change scale. Okay, and click this icon and this icon for move to center our composition. And let's move to right. Let's press S and open scale, make scale keyframe, move to right and change scale 0. And also go to here, select this pen behind icon, move the anchor point down. And clearization tool, let's hold shift, press R, open rotation, make rotation keyframe, move to right and chain rotation like this. And select keyframes, make easy and select two rotation keyframes, move to behind scale keyframes. Select scale keyframes, make easy. So let's see animations. Okay, and this text layer. So I want to make perfect timing. Select compensation, move to left. Let's see timing. Okay, we can move up a little bit. Nice. And in this same, go to here. Let's rotation keyframe and chain rotation 10. Go to some keyframes. For example, let's click here time duration, write plus six, click OK and change minus five. Again, go to six keyframe, click OK and change 2.5. Again, go to six keyframes, change zero. And let's see. Okay, that's good. So in this time, select this text layer, select these two rotation keyframes, go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay, and select these paper rotation keyframes. And let's see timing. Okay, select these keyframes. Let's move to the left. Okay, let's move to the left more. Back to keyframes and let's move to left this conversation. 
Okay, that's good. Select these all oh, two frames for paper. Let's move to the left. Nice. So, right now, let's go to shape layers. Hold this icon, select this ellipse tool, and go to back. Let's make shadow for text layer. Clicization tool, and go to fill. Let's select color black, click OK, and let's press T, change opacity. OK, and change name shadow. So, let's the timing. And right now, let's press T and change opacity 0. Make opacity Q frame and go to here, change 35. And make Q frames easy. Let's see. Okay. And select these Q frames, move to the left. And this conversation, move to the left. Okay, let's see timing. Okay, so select this text and paper conversation. Click this icon for motion blur. Also enable here. Let's see. Nice. Okay, so in this time, select this shadow. And right now, let's hold shape press S and click this icon, make scale Q frame and go to next Q frames and change scale like this. Let's see. Okay, so Q frames make easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Okay, back to two frames, and let's select these rotation two frames. Let's see timing. Move to left. Okay, select these rotation two frames for text. Go to graph editor, and let's play with graphs. Okay, select these first two frame. Let's move to left, and this. Let's move to right a little bit, or let's try graph like this. Okay, that's good. And back to two frames. And select this paper. Let's move to right. Nice, I like it. Very smooth. So, in this time, let's go to here and select this shadow. After this animation, go to Edit and Split Layer or Control Shift D and select this shot of two. Let's link to Paper Compensation and select Paper Compensation. Go to here and hold Shift Press P. Make new passing two frames. Go to here and move to right. For loop animation and select two frames. Make easy. Go to Graph Editor. Select first Q frame, make graph like this, back to Q frames, and let's see. Okay, that's good. So let's open paper conversation and let's do it fast. Select these text layers and go to window, open animation compass three anchor point mover. Click this icon for move to left all anchor points and select text one. Go to first second, press S and click this icon, make scale Q frame, move to right and change scale zero. Make Q frames easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make graph for smooth. Back to Q frames, select the scale Q frame. Let's copy, select this text two and go to here, control V. Okay, press U, select Q frames, move to the left and text three, press S, go to here, control V, let's see. Nice. And let's see timing, select two frames, back to main conversation. And let's see timing here. Okay, and go to paper, select two frames, move to right. Okay, let's move to left a little bit more. 
Okay, not bad. We can move to left more for more dynamic animation. Nice. And back to paper, select this pictures layer, press S and go to here. Let's create new scale two frame. Go to back, change scale zero. Also make two frames easy. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left these two frames. And let's two frames. Okay, very nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.